Hello, this is Jeff at Obedia, and I'm here to cover the audio pain inside of your preferences and reason. If you ever wanted to switch your audio interface, change buffer size and everything in between, I'm going to show you how to alter all of this inside of Reason. So once you navigate to Reason, go to the top and click on your preferences link. The first area, you can change the tuning of Reason. Your audio device, those where you change which device is actually going to work with Reason. The audio device that you choose will be set for both input and output. Therefore, if you want to change the behavior of your I.O., you must do it within the system settings of your computer. So for me, I'm going to choose the Scarlett 6 i 6 USB as that's what I'm working with. With the buffer size, I'm going to turn this down to 256 to bring down the input and output latency. Here you can choose which channels are going to be in use when you're working with Reason. And you can do the same thing for the output. If you're using a simple setup with just an interface and no external word clocking, your clock source should be set to internal. However, if you are using an external word clock, um, such as a MIDI timepiece, you may want to change your clock source to external, depending upon what you're using. And then monitoring allows you to tell Reason how to behave when you want to monitor the signal. Automatic means every time you click on the track, it will automatically monitor that track when it's prepared to record. So once you click on track one, it's already in record monitor. Then when you click on track two, it's already in record and ready to monitor as well. And so every time you click on a track, it will automatically switch it to be ready to record and will automatically monitor that track. Manual will force you to click on the track and then click on the monitor button in order to switch it. So if you don't want it to work automatically, say you want to be able to click on the monitor button for each track and only turn off when you click off the monitor, then you want to select manual. If you select external, then Reason will not monitor your system. So that may be useful if you're using a monitoring system like the Focusrite or any other interface like the PreSonus interfaces where there is zero latency monitoring built inside of the unit. And then those monitoring systems like the Focusrite and the PreSonus are built in to the mixer so you hear yourself instantly and you don't have to worry about the latency due to reason. So if you're using a setup like that, you may want to click on external. So you'll be hearing yourself from your interface and not from reason. So that is all of the audio settings inside of reason. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.